Hey everybody, Nano Refreak here. So today I'm talking about Seekim products. So the two products I want to talk about by Seekim are Seekim Prime and uh, Seekim Paraguard. Now I have Paraguard here, I have Prime over here. Um, when you're looking for Prime, it's going to be the red bottle. When you're looking for Paraguard, it's the blue bottle. So yeah, I have no affiliation with Seekim. This is not a sponsored review. I just really like Seekim products. Paraguard is something that I wish I would have had the whole time I was in the aquarium trade. I've seen it used in my local fish stores. They use it to take the parasites and fungus off fish before they sell them, and it works really good. So Prime is something I've used my entire aquarium trade life. I've used Prime since you know my early days. I've, I remember being 18, buying a thing of Prime, setting up a fish tank, cycling it, starting my fish tank. Um, Prime was just the best water conditioner out there. Now, this is a lot more than just a water conditioner. It's not its only job. So on the bottle, it's for marine and freshwater. It uh, detoxifies ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate, removes chlorine and chloramine. So the chlorine and chloramine is what most uh, water conditioners will do for you. The detoxifying ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate, to my knowledge, Prime is one of the best products that does this. So how they do this is you put a certain amount in for water conditioning, and then you can you know double or quadruple the dosage uh, to remove ammonia and things like that. Now let me read the back of the bottle to you so we know exactly how much it does. So one capful is five milliliters. Five milliliters does 50 US gallons or 200 liters. So it says if chlorine and ammonia levels are low, use half a dose. If you need to detoxify nitrate in an emergency, you may use up to five times the normal dose. So what I do with Prime, my recommendation is when you buy a fish, put a half a cap full of this in your tank. You know, if you've got a 10 gallon, put a half a cap full in. If you've got a 30 gallon, maybe put a cap full in, 50 gallon, maybe put a cap full in. Totally up to you how much you wanna put. Um, if your ammonia levels are always zero, just use that half dose. If your ammonia levels are, yeah, you don't really know, they're probably in check, use a full cap, it's fine. I've used this stuff where I've done, you know, five times the dosage and I've never had this kill a fish or lose a fish because of this. So this is just a great way to get your aquarium set up for a new fish coming in. It's gonna neutralize chlorine, ammonia, nitrite. This will also probably help with their slime coat. It'll help distress them. It's just a great way to ease a fish into your tank, to introduce a fish into your aquarium. I always use Prime just as like a safety precaution. Um, it's great for when you do water changes. Whenever I do a saltwater water change, this always goes in. Um, whenever I do a freshwater water change, I'll use like a little bit of this just to be you know helpful for the fish and um, for the water there. Now let's get in the Paragard. Paragard is the one that like, this is so new to me. I've never used Paragard before. Again, I've seen my local fish stores use Paragard in the past. Um, and again, not sponsored guys. Like I just really like Seachem products. I mean, both the gravels in my freshwater fish tanks are Seachem. I've been using Seachem water conditioner my whole life. I've used Seachem matrix for my biomedia for a long time. I just recently switched to Marine Lands biomedia. It's working fine as well. Um, but I just like Seachem products. I think they're really good. Now, Paragard and Prime, they're a little expensive. So just keep that in mind while I'm, you know, teaching you about these products and telling you about these. They're not the cheapest products on the block, but they work. Um, so Paragard, the bottle says it eradicates ectoparasites, whatever the heck that is, um, fungal, bacterial, and viral lesions. It is a safe alternative to formalin and it's for marine or freshwater. So the reason I got Paragard is a couple reasons. One, I see my local fish stores use this all the time when they get new fish. So I was thinking, why don't I use that when I get a new fish? Like. There's probably plenty of parasites or fungus or whatever in the fish stores that I visit. Um, Cause I don't go to just one fish store. I buy fish from Petco, Pet Supermarket, um, my local saltwater stores, the mom and pop shop down the street. Like I go all over the place. I don't, I don't give my business just to one person. Um, there are certain places I prefer, uh, you know, just obviously. But um, I was thinking, why don't I use Paragard to help my fish like make sure that they don't have anything on them before I put them in here. So I have this, 14 gallon cube here. You guys have been following the 14 gallon cube. Um, I have two platies in here. I have uh, two um, Danios in here, which are from the six gallon over there. If you've watched my other videos, I have two bodies, two scarlet bodies, and I have uh, one Pleco, one bristle nose albino plecosimus. What a mouthful. So the platies themselves, they had like a white edge on their fins and their fins were really torn up. You know, these guys came from pet supermarket. They looked like they had been through the ringer. They were in a tank with a lot of platies in there, right? And they had like a white fuzzy edge on their fins where it was all bit up. And I was like, man, that's kind of weird. Like maybe it's just like growing back or maybe it was just damage from being in the fish store. Hmm, you know what I'm saying? And then my Plecosimus had like a red like ring on him as if another Plecosimus had like bit him or something. It was weird. There's like a red ring right on the edge of the Plecosimus. 
Um, and it looked really uncomfortable. He didn't look too happy with it. The Scarlet Bodies looked perfect. Uh, the fish store kept them in like a little underwater like cage because they're so little that they didn't want to lose them in the tank. Uh, kind of smart, honestly. The Danios right on their mouth, they have this like white um, fuzzy patch right on their mouth. I think the reason being is in the six gallon, it is such a small tank um, and that it's not really meant for Danios. Now that I've had that six gallon for a while and I've seen how Danios swim, they probably run into the rock in there and the walls and everything all the time. Cause six gallons, even though it's long like this, you know, I was hoping the length of the tank would help it. Danios swim up, down, left, right, front to back, side to side, all the ways, you know what I mean? So they probably bumped into the rock and, and got that open wound going on their mouth because the rest of their body is fine. They have no other, um, no other issues. So the Placosimus, I put this in there. It is, uh, you know, let me just read the back, I guess here for you so you know how much to do. Um, one capful again is five milliliters, just like all the other Seachem products. One capful does 10 US gallons. You may repeat daily as required as long as fish show no stress. Um, and you may use one hour dips with three milliliters for one US gallon. So the dips are gonna be super helpful with saltwater fish, all right? Now this is something to, something to keep in mind. This is marine and freshwater. However, it is not recommended for freshwater invertebrates or reef aquaria, I'm assuming they mean corals. Um, and invertebrates are like your shrimps, your crabs, all those kind of snails, you know, all that. As an alternative, use Seacombs Metroplex, which I have not looked into Metroplex. I don't know what Metroplex does. I've literally just done this. And then of course there's the do not drink or get an eye, the yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, I'm in no ways responsible if you guys like do something stupid with this. So be careful with this stuff. Anyways, um, I put this in. The Placosimus, next day, red ring, gone. He looks so healthy now. It's crazy, because I wonder where he is now. I haven't seen him. He, he's back here, and he's on the driftwood, and I can see where he had the red spot. Totally gone. He looks like a brand new fish. The platys, the white edge on their fin, gone overnight. It's, it's just the white edge is gone. The fin is now clear, totally see-through. It's starting to come back. It's gonna grow back eventually. Um, who else? The Danios. So the Danios, I put the Danios in here yesterday. They have only been in here for 24 hours. I have not dosed this today. Um, let's take a look at them. Their white mouth, it's still there, but it's not, you know, as bad as it was. Like it looks like the fuzziness of it is gone, but it's just like a white discoloration. So I think it's just, you know, like an open wound from them running into a rock or something really hard that they just have to, have to kind of heal. Um, but they don't have any white spots on their bodies or anything like that. Uh, now one, one platy does have one or two white spots on her fins. I don't know if it's like a fungus or ick or what, this has not taken care of that yet, but I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Again, I've only been using this for like three days now. Uh, it has not been in there for longer than three days. So it's just one of those things where I want to see how long it takes to kind of get rid of all the like bacteria and fungus and things like that. Um, but it seems like it's really helping. Now this is not a cure-all. This is not going to heal, um, like everything under the sun. Like, I don't know how this would react with something like velvet or marine velvet. Um, I know that's like pretty harsh. Now, the clownfish in the other room, um, I will talk about him just for a brief moment here. That clownfish does have a little bit of white fuzz going on. It was really bad, like, you know, a couple days ago. And then I started feeding him garlic again. It's almost all gone. He's got like one patch on his eye. So I was debating if I should dip him with this yet. I haven't dipped him yet since he's been getting better. He's still eating like crazy. Um, but the only reason I didn't want to dip them in this is because I don't know how much stress this would give to a marine fish. Um, obviously like taking them out of the tank, trying not to use a net on them to preserve their slime coat, and then dipping them in this is probably going to be really stressful for that fish. And that fish took like three days to eat, so I don't want to stress that fish out any more than I have to. So I haven't really used this on a marine tank yet, so just be really careful and like take this with a grain of salt if you have a marine fish. Like I'm giving you my experience from freshwater fish. But if you guys keep up with the channel, I'm sure I'll use this on marine fish at some point. Now there was a warning on here, I think, or maybe they said, I, I think there was a, a way that said that just to get rid of it was to use carbon. But yeah, this is a great product guys. Like if you if you need to try a new product for your for your aquarium and you want something to use that's safe for fresh and salt water for new fish, um, again, don't put this in your tank if you have corals, shrimp, snails, any of that, crabs, any of those kind of invertebrates or, or reef, um, reef aquaria as they call it. Um, but if you guys are getting new fish and you want something to put in the tank, to help new fish. First, I would get prime. Do your like half capful or capful of prime depending on your tank size when you get a new fish. Treat the fish with Paragard in like a little dip 
for an hour. Um, you know, maybe you've got like a drip acclimation. Maybe you've got like a bowl that the fish are sitting in and they're, you know, they're, they're in the Paragard. Or maybe you put like a drop or two of Paragard in the bag on the way home from the fish store. Whatever fits your needs best. Um, obviously, take this all as a grain of salt. This is just one man's perspective, one man's experience. Um, you know, I just hope you guys like find these products interesting. Hope you like, uh, you know, me talking about them. Hopefully I've given you some good information. Um, if you like the video, you know what to do. Uh, if you dislike the video, just remember to click the dislike button twice. And I hope you guys have a great day. All right, thanks for watching.